A recent survey revealed that almost one in five Scots believe a woman is partially to blame for being raped if she's wearing revealing clothing. These attitudes can make it difficult for a woman to speak out and report an attack for fear of being blamed. And these attitudes are really concerning because they stop women from feeling able to speak out about being raped, but also are really worried about what it means for the justice system because the rape juries are obviously made up of members of the public and worried about what kind of attitudes those jurors might have. Rape Crisis Scotland's TV campaign will run throughout the World Cup coverage on STV, Channel 4 and Channel 5. The advert features a young woman intentionally choosing an outfit that would encourage someone to rape her to highlight the fact that no one asks to be raped. The, the advert is quite provocative, it's quite controversial and I, I think some people have been quite shocked by it because it's quite kind of an un, unexpected, if you like, way of, of dealing with it, the, the issue. But o overwhelmingly it's been a really positive response. Lothian and Borders Police supported Rape Crisis Scotland's previous campaign by handing out postcards with the message, drinking is not a crime, rape is. Out of just over a thousand Scots, 23% think a woman can be partially to blame if she is drunk. 17% thought she could be partially to blame if she wore revealing clothing. 15% thought a woman could bear responsibility for an attack if she had been flirting. And 8% feel a woman is to blame if she is known to have had many sexual partners. Rape Crisis Scotland hope to be able to continue and build on this campaign in future years. Currently only 3% of rapes reported to the police in Scotland lead to a conviction. This is Rachel Simpson for Caledonian News.